वेलकम बैक डियर फ्रेंड्स लिट ई सिटी द यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर ब्रिंग्स अ न्यू ब्रैंड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट मैटर डियर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सीरीज वी ट्राई टू ब्रिंग क्वेश्चन दैट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फ्रॉम ऑल फील्ड ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड टूडे इन टूडेज सेशन दिस इज अवर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन who is the writer of famous language oriented post modern poem a okay yes friends a is the title of poem and it is considered to be a hallmark of uh, post modern poetry so our options are louis jukovsky the second one is w d snodgrass the third option is bruce and use and the last option is ron silliman these four poets they all are american poets of post war 20th century or we can say after the decades of uh, 30s and 40s they all have contributed to, uh, majorly in post modern poetry the writer of this famous poem dear friends a is none other than louis jukovsky it was a child of a long labor he worked on this poem for a long time as you can see in this infographic a is one of the longest poems in the english language it has more than 800 pages written over a 46 year period he started in 1928 and finished in 1974 the poem is divided into 24 sections each section is referred as a movement it is considered to be the greatest poetic achievement of 20th century objectivist school of poetry and other poets belonging to school this school are louis jukovsky george oppen charles reznikov and karl rakosi okay the second question for today is which booker prize winning novel is a careful and sympathetic review of the clash that results when children diverge from the path their parents assume they will follow a typical novel of generation gap of understanding a novel about uh, paths the parent choose and paths the children pick so it's a very moving story the options are the sea the sea the second one is hotel du lac third one is several and the fourth option is the remains of the day all these novels are winner of booker prize and all these are stories of uh, we can say human predicament and human understanding of the change in circumstances but the particular novel we are talking about and the correct answer for this is several now dear friends if we talk about all these novels you must have knowledge about these works the sea the sea it is written by iris murdock and it tells the story of charles arobi charles arobi is a famous was a famous actor playwright and director and now after a failure he decides to retire from the london theater world hotel du lac 1984 winner is by anita bruckner it centers on edith hope who is a romance novelist and is she is staying in this particular hotel hotel du lac you know, on the shores of lake geneva sevel is 1976 booker prize winning novel and the writer is david story and it is a story of colin a young boy growing up in yorkshire mining village of sexton The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro is the Booker Prize winner of 1989. It is love story told from the first person perspective of Stevens who is a butler in a British family. Our next question for the day is which poetry collection of John Ashbery derives its name from a painting of Renisa artist Parmigianino Now dear friends John Ashbery is the poetic voice of America for the most of 20th century and this is also one of his very popular uh, poetic collection is it Chinese whispers 
Is it self-portrait in a convex mirror? Is it the tennis court oath? Or the last option is the double dream of spring. Dear friends, the correct answer is self-portrait in a convex mirror. Now, John Ashbery, he is one of the greatest 20th century American poet. He is among those rare writers who have won almost all major American awards for poetry. He has won Pulitzer Prize. This book uh, uh, also won Pulitzer Prize, the National Book Award, the Yale Younger Poets Prize, the Bollingen Prize, all these things. Self-portrait in a convex mirror, it is considered by many to be his masterpiece. It won Pulitzer Prize, National Book Award, National Book Critics Circle Award. So you can understand how popular and critical acclaimed this poetry collection is. Our next question begins with lines from a poem calling all black people, calling all black people, man, woman, child. Wherever you are calling you, urgent, come in. These are the opening lines of a very celebrated, very popular poem and it works like a salvo to which black people are asked to respond. Who is the poet of these lines uh, and the poem? Uh, the poem is maybe is it The Bean Eaters by Gwendolyn Brooks. Is it Somebody Blew Up America by Amiri Baraka? Is it SOS by Amiri Baraka? Or is it I Shall Not Be Moved by Maya Angelou? All these voices, three voices, they are considered to be the representative voice of black American poetry. And the correct answer here is SOS. An emergency call and the poem is composed by, written by Amiri Baraka. Amiri Baraka, his real name was, birth name was Everett Leroy Jones and he is a poet, writer, teacher, political activist. Some very important facts related with him. He founded in 1951 Ugain Magazine and Totem Press. These are important forums for new words. His play, Dutchman in which a white woman and a middle class black man both expressed their murderous hatred on a subway was first performed in Off-Broadway in 1964. Not on Broadway, it is Off-Broadway. So these are some very important and some we can say words which basically started champion the black art movement. Our next question of the day is in the poem, Bells for John Whiteside's Daughter. The poet uses the death of a child to explore metaphysical questions about human life. Who is the poet? Is it Alan Tate? Is it Robert Penn Warren? Is it R.P. Blackmore? Or a final alternative is John Crow Ransom. Dear friends, the special thing about the alternative is that basically all these are prominently known for their critical theories. They are, they all belong to the new criticism school of America, Southern America, but they all were poets also. They have published their poetry collection. This is one example. And this particular poem, Bells for John Whiteside Daughter, it was written by John Crow Ransom. Uh, it is basically a short funeral poem in five quatrains and a series of restrained images. Ransom transfixes the grief of entire community over the inex inexplicable death of a young girl. It was first uh, collected in his 1924 anthology, Chills and Fever, and it is considered as his most anthologized work. Okay, moving to next question, which novel features Lisa Erdman, a troubled young woman undergoing treatment for hysteria with Sigmund Freud? 
so sigmund freud occurs as a fictional real historical character in this novel is it white teeth is it the white coat and is it white nice or is it white lies okay dear friends uh, so there may be confusion regarding this uh, uh, odd combination of white but the correct answer for this uh, question is the white hotel this is this is um, the book uh, which features lisa edmond the main protagonist is lisa edmond it is written by d m thomas and it is told the story is told principally in the form of an erotic journal and letters between female narrator and a fictionalized sigmund freud next question dal se ad decremus it illustrates the brutal everyday struggle of a company of soldiers and focuses on the story of one soldier's agonizing death and discusses the trauma that this event left behind so it is one of the war poems war poems were especially though it is if they, they have a long history as old as the war itself but during the first and second world war we see a rise in the war poetry this is one among them is it written by wilfred owen admin blunden rupert brooke or robert graves some of the war poets glorify the life of soldier like rupert brooks very popular poem a soldier but some of them represents the horrors the hellness hollowness and also uh, we can say the plight of soldiers in a realistic detail so dulce at dr m dear friends this is composed by wilfred owen now the title itself is taken from uh, horace ode 3.2 vela which means it is sweet and fitting the opening lines bent double like old beggars under sack knock need coughing like hags we crushed through sludge till on the hunting flares we turned our backs and towards our distant rest begin to trudge so these very opening line with their onomatopoeic uh, effect assonance create a sense of uh, uh, hunting rhythm uh, and this is written by owen dedicated to the dead soldiers their dead companions hugely influential in the environmental movement of 1970s this book presents a view of nature compromised by synthetic pesticides like ddt it was basically a wake up call for many this great book what is the title is it silent spring is it the in uninhabitable earth is it this changes everything or the last option a sand county almanac all these are books that have a great place in the field of Uh, environmental studies and ecological studies and creating awareness about uh, environment and ecological problem the correct answer is silent spring it is considered to be the earliest and most important uh, non fiction work about environmental crisis silent spring spring is written by rachel carson she is a scholar the un un uninhabitable earth is written by david wallace wells naomi klein she has written this changes everything and Aldo Leopold he has written a sand county almanac our next question and the last question for the day is what is the original title of richard wright's black boy a radical and autobiographical portrayal of the realities of african american life in south america black boy is very popular work by richard wright but originally he titled it different is it american dream american hunger america or a um, black america dear friends he basically titled is it american hunger and later changed it to black boy black boy is uh, written by richard wright he has also written a great work a uh, native son which is considered to be one of the best expression of the agonies of agonies and exploitation suffered by the black people in america
With this, we come to the end of our today's session. I hope these nine questions uh, gave you some important information, new information, and I assure you these are going to be important questions for the coming exam. Thank you, friends. Keep supporting.